Like our homes, the forests and lands around us also need to be maintained. An often misunderstood concept. When we first looked at this property, there were, there were about 50 acres that have been pretty much clear cut. And we came in and we said, oh, this is the ugliest thing we've ever seen. But the Mitchells soon realized their thoughts about clear cuts might be wrong. When we moved in, we were delighted to find that we had whippoorwills even at 4.30 in the morning. We still enjoyed them. And uh, we also had towhees. Uh, the towhees disappeared. And the more we learned about early successional habitat, the more we realized that we were losing the habitat that a lot of these birds that we were enjoying needed. They realized something needed to be done. Our ideal used to be all old growth forest. That's, that's all that anyone needs, including the, the, the wildlife. And, and we learned that that's really not the case and, and different wildlife has different habitat requirements. New Hampshire is lucky to have lots of mature forest, but a habitat type that's dwindling from the landscape and is used by over 70 species is young forests. It's an essential habitat needed by many songbirds, like whippoorwills, towhees, and a whole host of other wildlife. really the structure of those forests that are important. They're really dense and the um, young trees grow very close together and so they provide a lot of protection for a variety of birds especially but also mammals as well. But as New Hampshire's forests have matured, that young forest habitat is harder to find and so are the many types of wildlife that need it. Different wildlife respond to different sizes of vegetation. So if we want a diversity of wildlife species, we need all those size classes on the landscape. And the only way to get those is to either make it ourselves, to plan for it and make it ourselves through cutting, through commercial cutting or non-commercial cutting, or wait for Mother Nature to do it for us. And often she doesn't do it in the right places. On properties throughout the state, the science of forestry and habitat management is being used to help create more habitat diversity. Through well-planned harvesting, including clear cuts, prescribed burning, mowing, and many other techniques, the state's native wildlife will have an important ecosystem to help maintain healthy populations. We are on the Tucker property, which is owned by Southeast Land Trust. It's about a 200 acre property, and we are creating some openings for wildlife here. This work is being done through a grant from the Natural Resources Conservation Service. By creating a diversity of habitats on this property, it will support a greater diversity of wildlife. On this property, most of the forest is the same age, so the trees are all pretty small. In this case, we're going to make about four openings this year, and then hopefully in five to ten years, we'd be able to come back and make some more openings in between those openings so that you end up with a diversity of habitat over time, a mix of young and old forest coming in. In the past, naturally occurring floods and forest fires helped maintain the natural diversity. Flooding and fires are things that we tend to try to prevent from happening on the landscape with a good reason. We want to protect our property, um, but we've sort of slowed down the processes that naturally created those habitats. So occasionally we have to step in and, and create those habitats where we can if we have a good opportunity to do so. The new openings over time will grow into mature forests. This is why new openings are cut next to them to help maintain the young forest habitat that so many types of wildlife need. And once the work is done, it doesn't take long for Mother Nature to respond. We just cut this this winter and already you can see all of the ferns that have come back and the grasses and seedlings that are already coming in. And we just pulled out of here in March and this is just July. As some landowners have learned, first impressions of a clear-cut landscape can be deceiving. 
Now we're paying money to create the same, same habitat. And, and we walk in an area like this now and we say, wow, what a great early successional forest. You know, think of all the wildlife that's, that's taking advantage of this. And so our, our outlook has really, really changed. Young forests are nature's supermarket and neighborhood. Without this valuable habitat, New Hampshire's woods would not be the same place.